Okay, folks, and this is the latitude and longitude for Neumeyer Station. Okay, and we will. I'm going to keep it down here so that I don't end up zooming up and screwing up on Worldwide Telescope while I got on recording here. But as we go along the north, okay, because this is where the shot was at, it was north, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to look at Arcturus, Alpha Eka, Alpha Eka. And basically, I know these are supergiants. I'm pretty darn sure on that. I remember the names, and I think you can too if you remember watching all my supergiants footage way back. And if you go back and watch my old supergiants footage videos. Uh, and then other things that we have in the area. Corniporos. Corniforos. Okay. Is that a Hercules? Hugh Hercules? Saren. So you need to check out the Zeta Her Hercules and the Saren. And since it's large, that would be our ideas because basically it's out in front of the sun and the supergiants, it seems to be. And since the Herculoses, we finally might have it down to, and then you see the other ones that are in the area, we finally might have it down to, it might be Saren. It's going to be one of the Hercules. Cornopophus. Cornophoros. Is that a Hercules? Epsilon Hercules. Because it's quite large, as you can see. And then the idea that it's not really bright. Okay. Alpheca. Alf, Alf Eka. And these are basically stars, and they'd be bright. Arcturus is the sun, okay? And as you see, there's something there. You have to zoom in. You have to go to Worldwide Telescope and check this stuff out. So basically, we're getting it down to it. It's going to be one of these Corniporophorus. Is that a Hercules or something like that? That was in the video tonight. And basically, it's uploading, but I can go ahead. And if you pay attention, I only have my height at 10 meters, okay? So it's really shallow on the Earth down there in Antarctica okay so you stay I stayed at 10 meters on showing you on the worldwide telescope so basically it should be something down low and it really does match up to pretty much really close to being corner forest or Saren or Mu Hercules Mu Hercules okay because I'll be careful not to touch anything and zoom out it should basically be north. So it really does, and it should be shallow. It should be low. And I've got it only set at 10 meters. Now I can scan and go up higher in the sky, but it's really not going to make that much of a difference as I bring and drag this down. You'll see, and hopefully I won't screw up. Yeah, I don't want to screw it up. And then what do we have there? 13 volt. I'm not even going to try to announce it or pronounce it. Repec. Delay. So maybe that. But then let's get. I got to try to get. Okay. Northwest. See, so it's got to be somewhere here. Gamma Sagedi. At the star, though, it, should, it shouldn't be that. And most all those are stars. That's a star, too. So anyway, you got the general idea that basically you don't see, when we scan the sky here, we were already over to the northwest. There's no really big stars that would be there. And basically, Arcturus, it would be going to be a star. It's, real, it's a really big sun. And I told you it's around the supergiants. And then we go east. 
So basically, we go back to the deal, and you're going to know when I show you uh, Nehemiah, and I can even, what I'll do, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Oh, damn it. All right. I'm going to get that uploaded. But anyway... I try. I was trying to get this. Boom. Come on. I went too far. Come back. Okay. Basically, it shows you right there. North side of the base. Okay. And it's the same shot. It's just farther out. And we caught it. And like I say, they've been trying to cover up stuff because they've been shooting this close. We don't give a shit about watching the building. We want to see this down here. And we caught it. Okay. Now, most importantly, we got black light like crazy over here at Japan. This is live. Okay. And it's 8.41 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the States. So it's probably something like something in the morning early there. Sun just coming up over here to the right. Okay. But check out all the, the remnants that they're getting in that area. And then the black lights over here too. These the shit really slightly ones. But dark, dark, real dark, 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 dark. And these are not the birds flying around. And this is live feed. This is playing, folks. Okay. This is actually live feed, okay? So, tonight, 9.24, 8.41 p.m., and then it's daylight over there. It's basically the 25th starting up over there, okay? They don't have the clock on this one, okay? But it is the live feed tonight, okay? There is no clock on this camera. But check out all the light propagation, the black, black light coming up in front of the sun, the remnants or something. Either that or black light like crazy. Whole sky's peppered. Okay, so freaky shots. So basically, I'm going to upload that video that I had, but here it is at 640, and I'll step forward, and it'll pretty much 650, and then it disappears. So I go back, and there it is. It first shows up at like about 620. Okay, there's 640, and uh, the very tail end, I'm going to want you to watch the video that I really caught it on because I just recorded it tonight. And basically, you'll see it in the footage, and it, it shows up at 620, and it's right there. And it's pretty much a big dwarf, okay? It ain't no damn hologram. And I'll kind of prove it to you because basically, I think at the 630 or the 640 mark, I can blow this up. I'll first go to 400, and then we'll go to 1,000. It really doesn't look like a hologram. It's basically there. And that's not Jupiter or anything like that because it would have showed up. And let me go back to Worldwide and basically you'll see that I got the right date, the month, the time. And basically the sky is a little different, but I can go back in there and change that right now. And I can get the time back to 6, what do I have got you there, 6.30 or something like that I'm showing. Or I'll get to the 6.30 on the deal. I'll go back to imply that, and then okay, and like I say, it would be to the north. Okay, so the sun is to the east, coming up. Okay, the sun's gonna be right there. That's the sun. Okay, down at the south pole, and then basically actual factual. And that that latitude and longitude that is correct up there, and we'll get to, get to the north. That's the northeast. Okay, and it was leading, and basically that's sitting at north. So basically, it's it's something, folks. We have found something, okay? Because straight up, there's no planets there. It's not Jupiter, not Mars, nothing. It, it would be lower in that you wouldn't be able to see it, okay? And it's not a star because it's not bright, all right? And most everything here that you see is a star, okay? If I land on something, unless or either that or you research what home am is, Okay, and then that's to the west. So even if we just cover it from northwest to here, there's pretty much nothing supposed to be here. Dumbbell Nebula. The Dumbbell Nebula. Okay, the Dumbbell Nebula. So that's the idea that that's what's kind of around in that area. I got to be careful that I don't click on here to get zoom it, to start zooming in on something. But remember, it's very shallow. So the only other thing that it possibly could be would be Vega, and we can we'll check out on Vega.
Now, Vega is 25.27 light years away. Spectacle class. And you got to remember, it's 9,800K, so it's hot. Okay, it's burning. Now, is it burning blue? Okay, and it's in the main sequence. Okay. Variable spectral, so it changes color. So it may be what we have there. And then basically, what maybe that's what's always been the baby blue kachina in the uh, red dwarf star. Because it is hot at 98-something degrees, and it is one of the super giant's main sequence stars, okay? And then I can also, uh, hopefully I got a, a time here to show you how close that, uh, and why we we're getting the sun effects is because uh, Alaraf is pretty much damn close in alignment with the sun right now, Okay. Easily visible to the naked eye, okay? And 969K, maintaining state, bear name, I've learned about size, magnitude, ability period, low amplitude. Alright, so anyway, that's what was uh, the only thing that I know that was around it. Now you got to remember that's a star too. So the idea, what is a darker that's not that bright? It is 25.27 light years away, but then that means that takes that long time for that light to get here. So what's up with that? And 2.9 sizes of the sun. So the idea, we've seen the sun come up down there. You can watch the sun come up, okay? And that also has that dark object in front of the sun, okay? Because you watch the Hawaii footage, and there's no black spot in front of the sun. So you watch the Neomari footage down there, and there's a black dot and this is this is 2.9 mass of the sun okay so basically that's not it it should not be it because it's a bright star okay vegas is a star and it's bright it's only that it can be blue in color from that far away but so we got to we got to figure out what we got and pretty much it seems to be a lot of sense that there's something that's up there who knows how far away because your eyes don't lie there it is and like I say, I'm going to upload this one first, but I will upload the first recording that I found it tonight, okay? And basically, let me knock the size down on this, and we'll hit play. I think we can get it to play at like maybe 150. And there you go. There it is. And there's the Neumeyer signature and stuff like that up there. And I suppose basically what I'll just do is I'll move back up and I'll step back. There you go. And there it still is there. You can't miss it. And there you go. And there you go. And there you go. Okay, and I'll pop in at a thousand real fast on that, like I did on the earlier video. There it is, folks. The dwarf that everybody's always been talking about. And it's kind of reddish there. And it's bluer earlier when it first shows up. So it might be Vega. But to remember, look how low it is at that time period, okay? And there's really nothing low. So we've pretty much found the dwarf. Because I got it focused at 10 meters up high. It's got to be something that's around by Gamma Sagatti. Okay. Because there's north. And as we move this way, it'll be getting to the northeast. So, and you see there's nothing really on the deal. Nothing big. Okay. And that's quite large. Okay. Because you know how big the sun looks when it comes up. So it looks even bigger than possibly, uh, I mean, it's pretty close to the size of Vega. But then that means it's, that's what that star looks like, that damn far away. And there's the northwest. So, and other things are stars that are around here. And remember, it was shallow. So Hercules, there you go, O2 Hercules. That's about the best, best thing it could be. It's one of the Hercules like I've been saying, it's one of the Hercules. Hercules. Something in Hercules is big. There's longitude and latitude there at, at Nehemiah. If you don't believe me, there it is right there. And we caught it on this north camera. This is still north, folks. This shoots north. Okay. This camera here shoots north. Farther away than this shot. We nailed it and found it.